Hi, this is Mali, and today we're going to draw Bella. Isn't she beautiful? So, as always, I'm placing the size I want. So that includes the ears. Next, I can see that the eye is about halfway. So I'm drawing a vertical line. So the eye should be about here. And then I'm going to place the, uh, the chin. So maybe it's about one third, um, a quarter from the bottom. The eyes would be about one third from the top. So about a quarter for the, the, the chin, half, half, or one third and two third. It's always about, but it gives you an idea. And then look, the eye lines up with the corner of the mouth. So I'm going to draw this shape. It makes me think of an upside down uh, pine cone or an acorn. So this space would be for the ear. So that's the head itself. And then from the eye, you would have a kind of triangle for the muzzle and the nose, like so. I can place roughly, roughly the ear. It's above the eye there. And it looks like a big, water drop. Something like that. So let's erase now. But I don't need, otherwise it might be confusing. Here. So, you have the ear, the face, and the muzzle. Oops. Next, it should be easy now to place the eye. Right there. The other eye, it's almost hidden, but it's on the same line, obviously. And because of the shape already, it's now easy to draw the nose. So for the width of the nose, look, it lines up with the eye. If you trace a vertical line. So technically, it's bigger or wider. And then you have the mouth. It's a curve like so. Now the other ear starts about halfway between the corner of the mouth and the nose. A slanted line and then it's behind the nose. I have my square here to guide me and then the top of the ear is above the eyebrow. You don't see much because it's white against white but that's where it is. 
And now I just need to double check the size and the length of his ear. It's wider. The space here is shorter and it's also longer. So I'm beyond my, my square, but that's fine. Now, the head, I think, is too, uh, too tall. I'm going to make it shorter, about this short. Now let's erase and then I will refine a little bit more. So Bella might be easier to sketch than the dogs and the cats I did. You can download the reference photo on my Patreon page, practice, and let me know what you think. So, to refine, I'm going to start by the nose. The shape is right, the size is right. I hear my phone vibrate, so I hope you won't hear too much on the video. Sorry about that. I refine the nose, the bridge of nose. I make sure the eye lines up with the side of the nose. Now, let's draw the other eye. You have some skin here. So once again, once I have the shape, the shapes right, I just need to draw the details inside those shapes. Like here. The eyeball and then the iris and the pupil. So the goal of this series is sketching quickly anything with confidence. So that's why I try to practice every day like I do. Don't worry about the details, we just work on the proportions, the distances, the shapes, and the likeness somehow. So as I refine, I realize that the head could be actually slightly higher. And then I just need to refine the ears. I just want to suggest the um, curly fur. Overall, I think it looks like Bella. I do the 
same thing on this side. So if you want to see more sketches, make sure you subscribe. And as always, don't be shy. Comment on my videos. More textures here on the face. There and then a few lines here and there to give dimension to the forehead. And I think I'm done. Et voilà. Thanks for watching and see you next time.